Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI, coming at you with a brand new embracing series, and today we are embracing Guitarja, and we will be playing in the islands. We'll have lots of coastal cities. I think you're going to love this map. It's going to be pretty awesome, so stay tuned and buckle up, because here we go. Let's take a quick look at what Guitarja does for us. The first thing she does, Exalted Goddess of the Three Worlds. Naval units can be purchased with faith. Religious units pay no movement to embark or disembark and plus two faith to city centers that are adjacent to coast or lake tiles. So that'll be a nice little faith income for us, settling cities on the coast, which is pretty nice. The whole thing about buying boats with faith isn't really going to be part of our embracing going on today. The Great... Nusantara. Coast and lake tiles provide a minor adjacency bonus for holy sites, campuses, industrial zones, and theater squares. And you get plus one amenity from entertainment complexes. Oh, sorry, from entertainment to each entertainment complex adjacent to a coastal tile. So there you have that. Uh, we have the, uh, the entertainment complex bonus, and then you've got holy sites, campuses, industrial squares. Uh, so it's a minor adjacency, but so basically two coastal tiles equals plus one to any adjacency for those four districts. The Zhang is a unique military boat. Indonesian unique medieval era naval unit that replaces the frigate. Formation units all inherit efforts, movement, speed, and plus five combat strength when in formation. There you go. Probably won't be getting into the Zhang either. Mostly this is going to be about embracing the adjacencies getting the faith income, and then most of all, the Kempong. Unlocks the builder ability to construct a Kempong unique to Indonesia. Plus one production and plus one housing. Also, plus one food for each adjacent fishing boat and additional production, housing, and tourism as you advance through the technology in Civics Tree. Must be placed on a coast or lake tile adjacent to a resource. As you will see, we'll have some pretty strategically placed resources to make some really nice campongs. So, right out of the gate, we're going to want to probably get mining, uh, as we have uh, a couple tiles right away we can do there. But we're also going to want to get sailing before too long as well, because we're going to want to be able to get in the water for some stuff as well. So, probably mining into sailing, I would say, at the very least, would be the best idea. And probably, uh, I guess we can move first. Um, have you head south? And we're going to plop down the city right here where we have sailing. The boost to sailing is all ours. We're going to grab a scout, I think. Oh, because it's going on the food first. I'm like, why is it taking 10 turns to make a scout? We will not do that. We will actually lock in the culture tile. It will make us take longer to grow. Um, well, you could actually go one turn um, on the food in order to potentially increase so that your scout in this set end at the same time. You could actually do that. I never actually tried that. You could probably do that. Yeah, so let's actually go one turn on the food. I mean, it's actually, when you think about it, it's actually not a bad idea. Three turns versus seven. So if I, if I, if I go three turns without the culture and production, then I get to go four turns with the culture and production and three extra food, like right? five total, but three more than that one for another four turns. So at that point, you're looking at... Uh, five food times four turns. That's, so that's 20 food in exchange for six production and three culture. Feels like a pretty good deal. I think that's actually worth it. I think it's actually worth the growth there. Let's do that. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and grow the food. Ba da ba. Goody hut. 
So what I'll probably do is save Goody Huts for the scout, um, since we're on an island. And this one decision cost Norm the entire game. From then on, Norm was never spoken of again. Uh, Lakarian, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome aboard. First follow of the day. Let's go. Next turn. So boom, just like that. Turn four, we'll work in two tiles, including the culture tile. And we'll, in two turns, we'll go to that as well. And and like you can see, we're going to be pop three in five turns. That's how good it is. And so, and just as far as production goes, so you can see the scout, it's four turns left on the scout, and it's turn four. So it'll actually take, it will have taken eight turns to build the scout instead of six. So it took two turns longer to build the scout, but because of it, We'll have when it's done. We'll almost be at pop three, which will mean we'll be working the turtle tile as well, which is going to be equal. Uh, obviously, not only a good tile but science. So science and gold. So <clears throat> keep on moving, keep on moving. So I'll come down to the end here and then come back. The scout will have to. Well, you know what? Actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. When you're playing on a tiny little island, it does even a scout, you almost don't even need the scout, but we'll go ahead and promote the scout for the heck of it. Uh the growth was seven. The growth was seven and the and the scout was six, so it was gonna leave you with a turn before you could start your settler anyway. Um but yeah. So when you when you calculate it, the value is twenty food versus six production and three culture. But that doesn't that's only in the first seven turns. In the next few turns you'd also have to add on the fact of every single one of these tiles because we'll be at pop three many many turns before we would have been so that you'd also add in the value of all these tiles for however long that is right so technically it'd be 20 food and maybe four turns of each of these or five turns of each of these as well so it's a pretty uh it's a pretty significant difference when you think about it uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, whenever you have... Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's Auckland. What do you know? Um, Yeah, whenever you have a 2-2 a two -two tile, whenever you're working a 2-2 two -two tile and you have a 2-1 city center, it's always one turn longer to grow than it is to build the scout. Assuming that's the only thing. Poggers, Pog Champers, holy cow, it's Auckland. So we'll turn the uh, the warrior around as the scout will be heading out here. Uh, wonder start, no, no wonder start, just the embracing. We're just embracing Gatarja. There might be a wonder around somewhere, but... For now, we are just embracing the lovely Catharja. 12 Eskimos, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you. Good to see you guys. Appreciate you all being here. So three turns from both mining and codes. And then we'll slip into... Um, sailing. Look at that. So you're going to go like this. Uh, have you go like that. We'll get to work on the settler. Soon be pop three. We'll shave some turns off of that. We'll hope for a builder, of course, and get a scout because we've been getting trolled by scouts in these games, like incredibly. But what's really funny is that we a scout here would be even less value <laughs> than usual. Who deserves more credit than the? It is not wisdom, but also mining. So, we'll turn on survey for the double experience, just as we're about to tag that up. 
And we are going to have a Pantheon very soon, so there's no much point. We'll add the extra production like that. And then we'll go like that. Ah, oh, boost of masonry. That's the worst. <sighs> You're killing me, game. You're absolutely, positively killing me. Pretty good city right there. I'm gonna pop into the city and hang tight. Um, ba -ba 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 -da. yeah, the scout would have been <laughs> pretty much the scout would have been better because I'm obviously going to be building a quarry one way or another. So a scout would have actually been slightly better. That's how bad. That was. <laughs> How you doing, Stick Joy? <clears throat> hey, it's Nan Vidal. Your district's on or next to a coast or lake tile provide two culture. That's a bit of all right. It just chopped the stone instead, exactly. No, we'll build the quarry, obviously, uh, for the just for the production, then we'll chop them eventually. Doing good. Finally got a haircut today. Feel liberated. There you go. I've been considering cutting my hair, to be honest with you. I've been considering it. What, what an embrace, am I right? Guitarja knows how to embrace, if you know what I'm saying. She's, she's a frisky gal. She likes to embrace... Uh, and look at this pop four coming in hot. What a big difference maker that is. Uh, anything I'm missing? Population of four, settler and seven. Um. We have a Pantheon coming in hot real quick. We're gonna need a builder. It would have been nice to find one in a goodie hut. Uh, I'd like a sieve that has a unique non-harbor district that can be placed on the coast. <clears throat> a sieve that has a unique non-harbor district that can be placed on the coast. You want a sieve? Wait, I'm a little bit... Sorry, Ayana. You want a sieve? That, or like a... Because that's what I was going to say, Daniel, is that Brazil's got the unique entertainment complex and the Copacabana. Right, they have the special versions of theirs. But I'm not... I'm. You're looking for a sieve that does that? Sorry, I'm just making a note because it's something just popped into my head that I need to do. Because I forgot to do it. Just didn't want to forget. An initiative that can place maybe a unique campus or industrial zone, but on the coast. You mean, oh, you mean like, are you talking about like on water, you mean, coast on a coastal tile? So like a campus that goes on water or a theater square that goes on water, something like that? So what do we do here? Um, production from fishing boats certainly is the logical choice. I don't think there's any way to go against that. Uh, God of the Sea. We probably have some pretty fantastic uh, appeal, but I mean, that just seems obvious. I think production for fishing boats, because we're going to want lots of 
Yeah, I think production for fishing boats. We're gonna have tons of fishing boats, and uh, it's gonna make a lot of these tiles really nice right of the gate. So that's the choice. A unique coastal sieve, like a Venice, yeah. Interesting idea. <clears throat> Be nice if some barbs popped up down here we could go take care of for some era score. Or maybe we go dark into into uh it is not that life ashore is distasteful to sailing. Me. Done. We could always go dark into Heroic. Not even close to being able to afford a builder. It'd be nice to know... Wow. You know what's funny? As I was thinking about this as I started the game up, I'm like, I'm never going to be able to find a second continent. I wasn't paying attention here. Because I never even looked at the continents map when I was making this map up. All I did was basically just do up my area. I forgot all about the continents. So when I took this island here and this island here and linked them together, and I kind of shaved some stuff off around the edges, but mostly just two islands I linked together, um, I didn't realize that they're on separate continents. <laughs> so I just got incredibly lucky right there. Uh, okay, so next turn... Behold the wonders of the heavens and the Hey Long Bay. What are the odds? What do you think? Should we go settle the wonder? Some nice tiles. There's two obviously this is a really good settle as well. But I think it might not be a bad idea to go settle that bad boy. One thing we're going to want to do is settle this, and yeah, it's, um, probably that's going to be expensive though. These are all in the third ring. All these fishing boats are in the third ring. It'd be expensive, but maybe want to buy some of them before we start giving a lot of envoys out to those guys. So uh, monuments obviously nice, but we do have the first meet already, and we got to get into builder. I think it's I think it's uh, I think it's a six a six turn builder is the is the key here. That would be the key to our happiness, if you ask me. So I'm gonna step on this hill and take the promotion. Next turn. <sighs> Such a troll. Four turns, almost a pop five, despite even despite putting out that settler. Absolutely killing it. Housing is going to be an issue. Uh, we got animal husbandry coming in hot. I am fond of pigs. We have horses. Technology, I think we jump into this. Every nation lives by exchanging. Policies, that stays. No reason to do anything else as far as policies are concerned. There's a city state right there. 
that we will want to meet. Um, I mean, it's only saving me the one turn, but I will get the tiles improved, so I feel kind of the obligation to play that smart. see what do we want to do in here I guess we'll work monument as usual good day moon doggy how you doing are you prepared for the embracing of Gitarja? You know what I'm actually considering right now? No, I want to get the trader going, I think. We'll get the trader going, but I actually want another builder because I was thinking about doing... Oh, shoot. You know what? No, screw... I'm going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go with another builder. What I was thinking about doing is because builders can get in the water but nobody else can, and I, want, I kind of want to search around what we're doing, I was thinking about doing some build exploring where I go two tiles improved with... Um one builder and two tiles improved with another builder and then let them go build spore for a little bit uh, indo greater than australia i am not ah did you mean australia greater than indo i don't know what you mean but what Mm, okay. We want a barb hut. We want a barb hut. Do, 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 do. We want a barb hut. Come up to this point. Oh, we've been there. Next turn. I thought Clay must feel happy. like that and then we'll go over here to meet these guys like that choose research so we are going to not get that at this point <clears throat> farmer resource we can get before too long I'm gonna want to be obviously able to get out to here Probably get some harbors. You know, I never really thought about getting a religion, but we always, we could always maybe go out and grab a religion. We're making good face, so we could always, um, Build a holy site, and we could look at buying one if we had to. No mistake, it's Indo for me. Oh yes, because you're actually planning on moving to Indo, right? That's what you mean by that. So you know what? I, that was actually kind of silly. I should have actually waited. I should have done the trade route first and then did the builder because we have bonus production towards units now, but not a big deal. Like that.
That was not a first meet. You're right. It was not a first meet. So it wouldn't matter. It's boat time. How you doing, Mr. Curry? It is not a first meet. So, and they wanted what? Train and Archer, was it? Sorry. Yeah, Train and Archer. Okay. Train a galley. Eureka for a wheel. I rated 100 games yesterday. He was uh, dressed up as Bjorn Borg uh, doing Twitch things. Oh, yeah. I've seen him a few times. Yeah, he's not bad. Definitely not bad. What's up with you, dog? Huh? You want underneath or you want on top? You want underneath? There you go. Whoa, there you go. Yeah, actually, I knew that you raided him because I woke up in the middle of the night and I, and I, was, I just came in here to see if, uh, if you were still streaming. And you weren't, but I saw that uh, his stream was up. I was like, oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to mine that, fishing boat that, and then head into the water. Hey, speak of the devil. Mr. Curtin, honor to meet you. So that's a nice little boost there that I was uh, not sure I would get. So that's good. Let's swing along here. Let's get the trader going now. Uh, doomed, you're in Boodled Britain. Boodled Britain. It was luxuries like I can. Uh, actually, you know what? Perfect timing. Imagination is <clears throat> bootleg. I'm in bootleg Britain. Oh, you mean Australia's bootleg Britain? What? Oh, looks like a warped England. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, kind of, if I added some more land. Uh, the map looks like Australia. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm anxious uh, when embracing Oz and if we'll uh, use uh, Great Barrier Reef or Uluru. Oh, embracing Australia to have the Great Barrier Reef. And yeah, that would make sense, obviously. Yeah. Maybe we'll embrace Australia. Who knows? I mean, really, if you think about it, we embrace Australia every day with uh, with Moondoggy in the house. So this kind of sucks here because right out of the gate, they have... Uh, we've gotten their... Uh, well, I mean, it's nice that we got the free the whatever, but... It sucks that they went and grabbed those turtles on us immediately. But whatever. We got lots of turtles. It's just... Uh... Yeah, if, if London fell into the sea down here at the bottom, and then also... Um, if uh, Wales... This is Wales over here, right? Where If Wales fell into the sea.
I was going to make the Embracing Australia map for you. Oh, were you? Is that an idea you had? You're more than welcome to uh, give it a shot, buddy. So I have to decide here. Because I've got 11 turns of grinding before we can change policies again. And I feel like I may want to get a settler out again. I'm going to turn that on because I may want in three turns I may go with another settler to come to come settle that. Um. No, I, I don't. I could do that. I kind of want to get to a political philosophy and then we can backtrack. It's not a bad idea. For the envoy. We're probably not getting a golden age anyway. So the first series would be waste. I don't see me getting anything else done that's going to cause me to get a golden age in the next 10-12 turns. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, the culture and the... Yeah. That's actually a good point. How many turns is that? Five. Yeah, that's a good point. The Sioux would be worth culture. And that would speed us through the rest anyway. Hey, Wishy, how you doing? A physician without a knowledge of his... Any chance it's going to grab that? Oh, come on. Hmm. Do we want to get a religion? Still hoping Fire Axis will do something to buff Kamir. Yeah, the Kamir is pretty weak. Like, I, I had no intentions of getting a religion. But then it's like, well, we could. I'm not sure if I really want to bother. Well, they're not good. They're they get adjacencies to uh, coastal tiles, a minor adjacency to coastal tiles, but so is everything else, right? Like this could still be a theater square here and government plaza. We could do the government plaza here, theater square out there for it to maybe do a wonder. I mean, there's lots of options, but yeah, no, I'm not going to build holy sites everywhere, so it's not, there's not really a point. It's not like I'm planning on building holy sites and, yeah. We did the whole religion thing last game, we'll do, uh, we'll just keep it chill this game. Uh, so I'm going to go here. Maybe.
Sucks being stranded on this frickin' island. We need to get our science going so we can get off this island. We need to get it going! Thinking about... Um, farming this when we settle this city with this guy. Need to learn to swim. Well, it's, that's the thing. My builders can swim. My builders need to teach everybody else how to swim is the thing. Grab the Heilong Bay. Yeah, no, I know. I'm getting this builder in the water to go get it. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Uh, we're keeping that on. Everything else will just keep the same. So two era score, that's probably not going to make too much of a difference, but the extra two uh, culture in our uh, coastal cities from Namadal is going to make a huge difference. It's now only going to be 11 turns to get there. Thinking about getting this campus built before long as well. Maybe buy that tile and uh, get a builder there to chop that down. Get a campus going. We need some science. We're going to need some science here real soon, like. Uh, campus is usually my first district, uh, or government plaza, depending if I got a campus built yet. But it's rarely is it, rarely do I build a holy site. Really, only if I'm going for religion, which is not typical. Uh, I'm gonna get the granary so the city can grow tall without too much trouble. Praying for a builder in there. Just absolutely praying for it. We have diamonds here too. I was gonna I was gonna uh I was gonna farm that rice, but I think what I probably do is buy this tile and work the diamonds for this city. Oh, 
Get that. That's what I'm talking about right there, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, probably have that builder throw a quarry down here and then swing over here and chop out the campus in there. And then we could even get our own builder here. Get a couple campuses going. I think that'd be uh, pretty good. Like I've uh, like I've said in the past, I'm not really doing the embracing runs specifically for the purpose of going for a particular victory necessarily, but just kind of embracing all the things that they can do. Certainly some early science can be fantastic for a culture game, just like a culture early can be good for a camp science game. So get our science going. Uh, that will allow us to get to shipbuilding early, which is obviously going to be important. So we're going to want to get there and continue to move on. And obviously as well, we're going to want... Uh, we've got some really good early culture going, but um, in three turns we'll have another promotion. We do want to unlock our Kempong, and I'm trying to remember exactly where the Kempongs unlock. Is it in the is it in the science tree? It's been forever since I played these guys. There it is. Yeah, shipbuilding. Oh, that's in shipbuilding as well. Oh, there you go. So we want that even more now. <laughs> yeah. You're an hour late, Lord H bomb. No forgiveness. In the corner to you. So there you go. Shipbuilding in particular. So we'll get our science going real quick and get to the. Uh, We'll get our next promotion on science as well for Pingala. And we'll get to shipbuilding and get everything going. I'm actually going to wrap up this episode of the uh, of the YouTubes. Twitch, do not go anywhere. Of course, you fabulous people can stay there. The fabulous people on YouTube, we're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait for at least... I mean, it might the next episode might be there, depending on when you're tuning into the first one. But it's possible you may have to wait less than a day for the next episode. Of this series and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be like we're gonna have some serious serious coastal tile porn we'll have some really fun districts going on and uh i think it's gonna be a pretty sexy map when we're all said and done so i hope you're ready for it bye bye